joining us today to learn more about the United Way of York County. My name is Courtney Stoner. I'm the Director of Marketing Operations at HealthSouth Rehabilitation Hospital of York. Joining me today are Bob Woods, the Executive Director of the United Way of York County, and Patrick Ball, who's the Director of Strategic Planning for Wellspan Health, the former Board Chair of the United Way of York County, and a longtime United Way supporter. We'd like to spend a few minutes today helping you learn more about the United Way, and I'm going to start with our first question to Bob Woods. So Bob, can you tell me a little bit about the United Way's role in York County? Thank you, Courtney. The United Way was created back in 1921, and it originally was created as a federation of nonprofit organizations to raise dollars to support the programs and services that they provide. Since then, we've gone through many transitions, if you will, to our present mission. Our mission is to improve people's lives by building a strong community through cultivating financial generosity, volunteerism, and civic engagement. Last couple of years, we've had kind of a mantra, or our theme has been Live United, which speaks about community. Community <clears throat> being all of us pulling together to give, to advocate, and to volunteer. As we talk more about giving, advocating, and volunteering, I'd like to talk more, Bob, about what it means to give through the United Way. To talk more about giving, obviously we'd not be able to provide resources unless we were able to raise the resources, the financial resources to provide services. So the United Way, one of the value adds, if you will, of the United Way is to run a community-wide campaign. Um, last year, uh, we ran that campaign primarily at the workplace. We raised just, le just a little bit less than $6.8 million. The campaign actually consists of close to 500 companies are involved in allowing us to um, provide employee uh, presentations at group meetings. Um, also, we obtain corporate contributions from the company. Um, we estimate, well, probably more than estimate, we actually um, receive contributions from over 20,000 uh, individuals in the workplace campaign. Those contributions actually break down to people giving just a little bit more than a dollar per week. We actually had a per capita gift of $57 um, over the year. And when we talk about a campaign in the community, our campaign is primarily at the workplace and people are generally contributing through payroll deduction, which uh, as a result, the administrative expenses for the campaign are very low. Uh, last year, we were at 11.7% for fundraising and operational costs of the United Way. The payroll deduction makes giving very easy, and also individuals are able to choose how they would like to have their contribution directed. Um, we hope that people give to what we call the community fund, um, that they do not designate their contributions, but they leave the gift undesignated. If they don't want to do that, they can in fact designate to any 501c3 nonprofit organization. Um, so then we would handle those, those designations and distribute those money, that money appropriately. The community fund then, is handled by a, a group of volunteers um, who know what the needs are in the community and allocate those funds um, as, as they see fit. Now Patrick, this one's for you. Tell us more about the role volunteers play in the United Way of York County. Courtney, as Bob mentioned earlier, uh, volunteers play a huge role in, in the United Way of York County. Uh, one example is the allocation process. We have about 100 volunteers who actually staff 15 panels uh, reviewing somewhere between 75 and 80 programs on an annual basis. And they really look at these programs based on and, and based the, the recommendations on outcomes and measurable impact to the community. Um, these programs and, and allocations uh, teams are divided into three focus areas, uh, which are the, the priority areas of, of the United Way. We've got education, which really helps you succeed. So you're talking about things like early childhood education, uh, reducing truancy, you know, really helping kids stay in school and be successful. Uh, then we're also talking about income, helping people achieve financial stability. Uh, we also have a third area that, that's what we call health. And so when we talk about health, we're talking about helping people live healthy lifestyles, um, providing access to health care. And if you, when you look at those three areas, 
There's nothing more critical to a, a healthy, successful community than having a focus in, in education, income, and health, the real basic uh, building blocks of any community. And what this allocation process does is really ensure that donor dollars are contributed and, and invested the, the most effective way and have the greatest impact in our community. We also have some other examples of volunteerism that the United Way is very much involved with in our community. Uh, first of all, uh, we actually are the home to the Volunteer Center. And through the Volunteer Center, we, have, we provide many opportunities for individuals who want to vo volunteer in the community. Um, those opportunities um, can be accessed either online through, our, through the internet or um, just simply by calling the United Way and an individual would identify what kind of interest that they have and we would try to match them with the appropriate program or um, service. Um, the Volunteer Center also works with agencies in uh, developing volunteer opportunities and to make sure that a volunteer's time is, is used well. Another um, volunteer opportunity takes place on the day of our campaign kickoff and we call it the Day of Action. We actually bring together volunteers from the companies, many of the companies that are conducting United Way campaigns and they go and work on various projects at the individual agencies. Um, the projects could be uh, as simple as reading to um, children at a early childhood education center. It could be painting um, walls or the outside. It could be doing yard work. Um, and, and what it does basically is not only is a project done, but then generally at the agency, the individuals are giving an agency tour and they see how their dollars are, are being used um, through their contributions to the United Way. Um, the other thing it does is create a sense of teamwork um, for those volunteers since they are all coming from a particular um, company and, and it's just a win-win situation for everyone. Now Bob and Patrick, since we've all worked together on the United Way Board of Directors, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about advocacy and what that means to the United Way of York County. Advocacy really means collaborating with others to address community-wide problems. And one example that really stands out in my mind is, is the issue of early childhood education. In the mid-90s, uh, the United Way of York County really uh, partnered with the York County Community Foundation, Penn State York, and Child Care Consultants to create the Focus on Our Future initiative. Uh, this initiative actually led to 14 early childhood education centers in York County that are accredited by NACI, or the National Association for the Education of Young Children. What that does is, is really requires those, uh, those centers to have a higher standard of education and assures our donors that for those, uh, those centers that are member agencies that they receive a higher um, return on their investment in the community. Bob and Patrick, I'd like to thank both of you for joining us today and I'd like to thank you for watching this video today and learning more about the United Way. I'd encourage you to visit our website which is www.unitedway-york.org. Most of the information about our programs and services can be found there or you can also call our offices. Finally, as you think about your role in giving and advocating and volunteering with the United Way, I'd like to encourage you to join us in our work because together we can build a stronger community. Thanks again for joining us. Mm -hmm.